Hello everyone, welcome to the series of science lessons. This is a continuation of the previous lecture. Can matter change its state? State such as solid, liquid and gaseous. We know that from our observation that water can exist in three states. Water can exist in a liquid state. Water can exist in a solid state that is in the form of ice and solid and water can also exist in gaseous state that is water vapor. What happens inside the matter during a change of state? Now let us answer some of these types of questions. Effect of change of temperature. Take 150 grams of ice cubes in the beaker and suspend and place a thermometer inside the beaker so that the bulb of the thermometer with the ice start heating the beaker on low flame start heating the beaker at lower flame note the temperature when the ice melts when ice starts to melt take a note of at what temperature the ice melts once the ice is converted into liquid and then place a glass rod into the beaker then Increase the temperature of the burner and stir the water continuously with the help of with the help of the stirrer. Note the temperature when water starts to boil. You can notice on increasing the temperature of solids, the kinetic energy of particles starts to increase and they start vibrating at greater speed. To overcome the forces of attraction between the particles, we need to supply energy. We are supplying energy in the form of it. Consequently, the kinetic energy also increases. At certain point, solid melts into liquid. Ice will convert into water. The temperature at which solid melts to become liquid at given atmospheric pressure is called the melting point. Ice will melt to liquid at certain temperature that temperature is called melting point melting point of solid is an indication that the strength of force of attraction between the particles the process of changing the solid state into liquid state is also known as fusion when a solid melts its temperature remains the same so where does the heat energy go when the ice is getting converted into water or liquid, the temperature remains the same. You can try this experiment in your, lab, in your school laboratory. When changing from ice to liquid water, that point when the ice starts to melt, the temperature remains till the ice is converted to water. Now the question is, where does the heat energy go? The heat that we supplied gets used in changing the state by overcoming the forces of attraction between the particles and it is also known as latent heat. Latent means hidden. Hidden heat or hidden energy. The amount of heat energy that is required to change 1 kg of solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure at its melting point is known as latent heat take 1 kg of ice cube the amount of heat energy required that is required to change 1 kg of ice to liquid at atmospheric pressure at its melting point is known as latent heat of fusion ice is converted into liquid the next step is converting liquid to gaseous state converting water into water vapor when we supply heat energy to water particle starts moving that we know particle starts particles start moving even faster at certain temperature a point is reached when particles have enough energy to break free from force of attraction at this temperature liquids starts to change its state from liquid to gas 
the temperature at which liquid starts boiling at atmospheric pressure is known as boiling point so we can conclude that the state of matter can be changed from one state to another state by changing its temperature temperature is one of the criteria for changing the state of matter and there is one more interesting fact to note we have seen substances around us changing state from solid to liquid and from liquid to gas but there are some substances which directly change from solid to gas one of the example of this is naphthalene naphthalene balls are generally placed where we place the clothes keep away from the cockroaches generally to keep away from cockroaches those naphthalene balls will convert from solid state directly to directly to gaseous state the process of converting solid state to gaseous state and vice versa gaseous state to solid state as well is known as sublimation in the previous section we studied the effect of change of temperature we will study the effect of change of pressure we have learned that the difference in various states of matter is due to the distance between them distance between the constituent particles what will happen when we start exerting some pressure and compress a gas enclosed within a cylinder within a closed entity <laughs> do you think increasing or decreasing pressure can change the state of matter applying pressure and reducing temperature can liquefy gases gases could be liquefied by applying certain by exerting some pressure and reducing the temperature by reducing temperature we are reducing the kinetic energy solid state carbon dioxide gets directly converted to gaseous state carbon dioxide will convert from solid state to gaseous state directly without the intermediate step converting into liquid state the solid carbon dioxide is also known as dry ice we can say that pressure and temperature determines the state of substance whether the substance could be a solid liquid or a gas interconversion of three states of matter there are three states generally there are three states of matter solid liquid and gas the process of converting solid state to liquid state is known as fusion the process of converting from liquid state to solid state is known as solidification the process of converting liquid state to gaseous state is known as vaporization that we know about and the process of converting gaseous state to liquid state is known as condensation finally the process of converting solid state directly to gaseous state is known as sublimation the one example is naphthalene balls and the process of converting gaseous state to solid state is also known as sublimation the content of this recording is borrowed from karnataka textbook society bangalore under fair usage policy this video is presented by avari technologies please do it subscribe button to get more content thank you